What would happen if the world started running out of oil? It's going to be very difficult to get gasoline for transport. Food is not going to be getting through in enough quantities to the shops. Conventional wisdom says we've got 30 years. So why does a growing group of petroleum experts believe it's coming within three? I think it's happening now, frankly. It gives me nightmares when I think about what we're headed for. Are they just scaremongers or have the rest of us been asleep at the wheel? Are we about to hit the real oil crisis? Really, when the crisis dawns, I think people are going to be looking back in anger. How have we allowed ourselves to get into this mess? In just a century, we've allowed our lives to become entirely dependent on cheap oil. And it's not just that 90% of our transportation is fueled by oil. This shopping centre is literally full of petroleum products. Look, the fabric in these clothes, petroleum based. These plastics, petroleum based. It takes on average six barrels of oil just to bring one cow to market. Yet who of us stops to think oil is a finite resource? The lifeblood of our modern world is steadily pouring away. We just take it so much for granted. The cars drive around, the pumps are always full. I talk to people in financial institutions who are investing on the assumption that oil supplies are going to grow and grow into the 2030s. I hardly ever meet anyone who, who knows about this problem outside a relatively elite group of whistleblowers um, inside and around the oil industry. Dr. Jeremy Leggett is part of an international splinter group of petroleum geologists convinced a tipping point on oil is imminent. This former oil industry insider, now alternative energy advocate, has written a new book outlining the case. It makes startling reading. This graph traces world oil discoveries. Since 1965, the amount of oil discovered each year has inexorably plunged. Despite all our advances in technology. The last time we discovered a whole new province was the North Sea in the early 1970s. And really, you know, these days, the average size of an oil field that gets discovered is about 50 million barrels. It's nothing. It's a drop in the ocean. We're using 84 million barrels a day. I've been talking to people uh, who I know because of my past in these big oil companies and they tell me there are no more big oil fields left to find. So if we've found nearly all the world's oil, how long before it runs out? Surprisingly, that's not so important. The real question is when will we reach halfway? It's known as peak oil. So what exactly is peak oil and why is it so serious? That's what we're heading out to the West Australian oil fields to find out. My guide is a geologist from deep within the oil industry. Eric Streitberg is managing director of Australian oil company Arc Energy. He's just decided to go public with his fears. The reason I feel strongly about this is that people don't understand the underlying causes of why petrol prices are going up and what the effect that that could have on our lives. Eric is about to show me what happens when an oil field reaches peak oil. The oil field was discovered in 2001 and it's now in full production doing about 6,000 barrels of oil a day which is about 10% of Western Australia's consumption. Wow, 10%. When oil is first pumped, it's under pressure and comes out easily. Production rises. But over time, oil pressure drops. Water is pumped in to maintain pressure. At the halfway point, it reaches peak oil. And then... We're holding on peak production at the moment. 
uh, we'll be going into the inexorable decline of all oil fields uh, very shortly. Really? And there's nothing you can do? No, you can slow the decline, but you can't stop it. To ram home the point, Eric takes me to an oil field which passed peak oil in 1992. This is what we're getting out of this old oil well. It's 99% uh, water and 1% oil. All oil fields follow the same pattern of rise, peak, then fall, even if they encompass an entire nation. 